Alright, so this video is going to be on types of functions. To start off this video, let's go over the definition of a function. A function is a relationship where each independent value, x, has exactly one dependent value, y. So in this video, you're not going to see a lot of functions that are, or any graphs, these aren't functions. You're not going to see any graphs that are like these, where if this is the x-axis, these are our x values, our x out values have more than one y value. That's not a function. That's important to remember that we don't consider this a function. So, on to our first basic function. That is a linear function. This can uh, be identified by a straight line. It doesn't have to be positive. It doesn't have to be this exact slope. But you're basically just looking for a straight line. Our equation for this is y equals mx plus b, where m and b are just any numbers. b could be 0, just any numbers. And um, really, our defining characteristics are just that it's constant and it has a straight line. Straight line. So this could be anything like 2x plus 1 or y equals 3x plus 5. Really, any, any function that has this sort of basic um, structure to it. Next we have a quadratic function. In my opinion, I like quadratic functions the most because they make a nice little smiley face when they're positive. They're just very positive um, functions. And our equation for this is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Our characteristics are the u-shape. Now, note that they're only a u-shape when they're positive. When they're negative, they are a unhappy face. An upside down u. And when our a value is greater than zero, it's going to be positive, so it's going to be that happy face. And when our a value is negative, it's going to be that upside down u, that unhappy face. And that's typically how I like to remember that, because when you're positive, you have a smile on your face. When you're negative, you've got a frown. Next we have the exponential function. Exponential and uh, power functions are often mixed up because they're very similar to each other, it's just the placement of the x is different. So exponential functions are they can be like this. You're typically looking for like a curved shape that slows down to a, um, a smaller slope, a, s a less steep slope. And the, func the function for that is y equals a b x. And the defining characteristics are that it just kind of, I don't know how to describe this, it's uh, it's sort of like a U, but it's not quite a complete U, it's like, let's say a curved U. And that's really all the defining characteristics you uh, typically have to use at the, um, you typically have to look at the equation to figure out if it's exponential or a, a power. Alright, so another type of function is a power function. Now, the most common power function is x squared, which looks something like this. Right? Kind of like a quadratic. But with power functions, it isn't just going to be um, any problem. It'll, it can also be x cubed, x to the fourth, and x to the fifth. X to the third is a little bit different than x squared. It's got more of like a squiggly shape, like this. X to the fourth looks almost identical to x squared, 
it's still going to be that little U shape. X to the fifth is also going to look very similar to X to the third, right? So, to figure out if something is a power function, we typically look at, um, if we have the equation, we typically look at um, what the what the exponent is. So if we have an even exponent, it's going to look something like a u. It can be upside down, can be moved to the right or to the left, but it's typically going to look like a u. If it's an odd exponent, it's typically going to look like that little squiggly. This again can go in the other way. Oopsie daisies. It can go like this. It really depends on if it's uh, flipped over, dilated, translated, anything. But it, it's typically going to follow this pattern. And now, I um, forgot to mention the equation for it. The equation for a power function is a times x to the b. Now, you'll notice that this uh, equation is very similar to an exponential. An exponential function has a times b to the x. And really, the way that I uh, memorized that something was exponential versus if something was a power, like if you had like a worksheet and it was like, figure out if this is a power function or an exponential function. What I noticed is that x is in the exponent. And in the word exponential, x is in the word exponential. It's pretty nifty, isn't it? So, that's typically how I figure stuff out. Uh, another way to figure out if something is power ex ex power or exponential is that exponential functions typically look something like this. They don't really uh, shift. They don't have really have this pattern. They're typically just going to be like this, like, like that. There's this website that's pretty cool, and it has, like similarities and differences between a power and exponential function and I'll put that link in the description bar. Anyway, um, the last type of function is a rational function. Rational functions are one of the easiest ones to sort of spot because they're really unique. Um, let's see, if I draw out this one You'll notice that there is parts of this graph where, or parts of the um, parts of the area where the graph doesn't go into, right? These are called asymptotes. Basically, an asymptote is where the graph can't go because of how the equation is set up. So the typical equation for a rational function is p of x over q of x, where both of these are polynomials. Okay, so you can figure out where these asymptotes come from. Say, for example, that our bottom polynomial was something like x minus 1 and our top polynomial was something like x minus 3, you would notice that we would have an asymptote where x equals 1. And you want to know why? It's because anytime you plug in 1 for x, you get negative, wait, hold on, yeah, negative 2 over 0. You can't have anything over 0. You can't divide by 0. That just, if you divide by 0, the world explodes. You just can't do it. So this is where the asymptote comes from. It's the, it's the bottom polynomial that really matters. And those are the five different types of functions that you must know.